you get caught in it um shoot we probably spent 25 minutes just walked around picking trash up off the ground and when i pulled up that rod my buddy goes watch dnr come up here and ask you if you got a fishing license it's like <laughs> yeah it was all covered but i cleaned it up i've got a uh i'm gonna take it to a uh bait and tackle shop near me it has a digital uh depth counter and just see how much it costs to replace that but it works i mean it fortunately it sunk down in the mud so it's pretty much preserved the bottom part it had a few barnacles but they were small so i don't think it's going to weaken the rod at all so and then i was down st michael's the other week pulled up a zebco little spin rod and uh i was all happy and then i'm looking it's like why is this in two pieces and it was broken but the reel's still in good shape so it's yeah, it's a free reel uh i mean this is one of the first things i pulled out and it's i guess this you use them for pulling the fish hooks out yeah so i mean i've gotten a lot of tools um never found a treasure yet yeah that's that's pretty close there you some tools well, there's a couple guys I follow on YouTube that are down south, and they've pulled up just boatloads of guns. Uh -huh. And, uh, oh, wow. you know, most of them are just, you look at it, it's like, yeah, it used to be a handgun. Can't tell if it was a revolver or a pistol, but, uh, you know, semi, but it's like, hey. I wonder why that was dumped there, huh? <laughs> this was, they found a ton of them in just one particular bridge. I'm like, oh. <laughs> yeah, you got a lot of murder weapons here. Because I was joking with them. I said, you know, man. I really wouldn't want that stuff in my house because if that killed somebody, you might have ghosts on that thing. <laughs> I was messing with him. He's like, man, don't say that stuff. It's not funny. But, you know, down there, literally, you can't read the serial number. You can't, no sense calling the cops on it. Uh -huh. yeah. You know, if it was something brand new, I would, yeah, but. Yeah, you gotta, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's good talking to you. Have a good day now. All righty. Man, mm. It's always nice to have positive interactions with people. Oh, big snarl of fishing line. hook with a little I guess a spinner on here I think I got a bag I'm gonna start putting this stuff in let me see let me see maybe not here we go no nope, band-aids
Man, these gloves are nice and toasty though, boy. Ooh, they are nice. I got something on here. Oh, shoot. Oh, come on. Oh, man. So bubbles coming up. Oh, shoot. Come on. Oh, damn it. Oh, it's a piece of pipe or something. Damn. God. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Holy crap. Yeah, it's definitely not that. Jeez. Woo. Mm, dang. That's solid, too. Jeez, a whitaker's. Look at that. Good night. That's solid seven. Let's go seven plus feet long here. Dang. Man. That's my biggest find ever. Holy crap. Man. Sorry about that, just wanted to text my two buddies with what I found here. Man, that thing's crazy. Whew. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to. I just had to put my brute cap on because, man. Jeez, a Whitaker, that thing's crazy. Whew. I have no clue what the heck that came off of, but man. That was in the mud, too. Whew. I don't know if that's what they would have used that thing for, but... Oh, got something on here. Thought I did. Yeah. I don't know if it locked off or what. 